Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a tutor and course developer at Point Blank Online. I've been freelancing as a musician, sound designer and programmer for nearly 20 years. I've released house tracks on Ouch, Tasty and Concrete Recordings and have also worked as a sound designer and mixer for TV and film. In this series of tutorials, we're going to take a look at some of the great devices available for Macs for Live. And we're going to start off by checking out Visible, which is a suite of devices that offer a way to trigger and process video in real time within Ableton. So you may be interested in adding a visual element to your set when playing out live, or creating your own music video to upload to YouTube, or even creating specific audio-visual mashups. There isn't a dedicated course to VJing or AVJing yet at Point Blank, but it's something we touch on in the second year of the degree level program. We do, however, offer some great Ableton courses from beginner to advanced, and you can find out more by heading over to pointblankonline.net. Many people were put off for Max for Live as they think it's only for programming your own effects, but luckily there's loads of good people out there creating devices for us to use. If you're interested, we'll be covering in another tutorial about programming your own devices within Max for Live. So an important thing to realize is Max for Live devices will only work if you've installed Max for Live. So head to ableton.com forward slash Max for Live and you can try it out for 30 days if it's not already on your system. Once you're up and running, there's a whole variety of freely downloadable devices which you can get from maxforlive.com and these are categorized fairly well into a number of different categories. We're going to be checking out Visible which you can find from the Jitter video category or you can download it directly from zealousy.com and this is where you can get the latest version. So just download the files and once they've downloaded on your hard drive all you need to do is open up that zip and it creates a folder with all the devices within. To get them into Ableton it's really quite easy all you need to do is access that folder and then drag and drop them onto an instrument track. If you want these plugins to appear in the normal devices list then you'll need to drag the whole folder into this location on the screen. There's essentially four different types of visible device. There's video sources, video effects, video mixers and viewers. So I'm going to start with Visible Grabber which is a video source and takes a feed from my webcam. So I'm going to just drop it onto the instrument track and let's turn it on and there's me. Hi and there's my red tomato. Down here we've got a couple of additional menus and that allows you to select different video feeds. So I'm going to then add on an effect so I'm going to choose Visible Rotator and this one's fairly self-explanatory we've got three controls here angle xy offset and this additional menu uh, angle will just spin me round okay xy offset will just offset the image and will rotate in a slightly different way when i adjust the angle and down in this bottom corner we've got an additional menu which allows us to specify different modes. Now this determines what happens to the edges of the image when you've offset. Okay, So I've put it to clear and you can see there's now a black void or if we just rotate it round essentially the image is rotating against black. If we switch this to wrap it creates a kind of tiling effect so if I just offset this a bit here you can see it's just duplicating the image. Next one down is clip and this essentially stretches the outer pixels indefinitely okay and it creates this kind of otherworldly effect. The final one here is fold and this is quite cool in that it creates these kind of mirror and kaleidoscopic images. It's similar to tiling apart from as you can see it's creating a mirror image horizontally and vertically. Okay, and this you can create some real interesting kaleidoscopic effects. I'll get my fingers in front of the uh, webcam there and create all these different patterns. Okay, it's all just from my fingers there. Now at the moment we're viewing these effects just on these small thumbnails, but what we can do is make use of the viewer plugin. Just drag this in here. 
Okay, and this gives us a movable second screen. So it might be you've got a second monitor, or if you're doing a gig, you'll have a projector connected up, and basically you can move this screen onto that monitor, and then if we hit the full screen button, then, well, hey, there I'm full screen. To get out of full screen, what you'll need to do is to click on the video once with your mouse and then hit the escape key on your keyboard. Okay, so the viewer is quite important. It allows you to specify the resolution of all the Visi devices. Okay, so at the moment this is set to 320 by 240. Um, as you increase that, you'll find the frame rate of your video slows down. Okay, uh, you've also got some additional options down here. So if you want to get rid of the menu bar, so if I go full screen, you can see we've still got the menu bar across the top. And if I take off menu bar, there we go, it's now truly full screen. So the viewer always comes at the end of the video chain. Any parameter which looks like an Ableton control can be fully automated or controlled from your remote control surface. So if we just click on record and move this up and down and uh, let's play that back. Yeah, you can see it's now being automated. So that has a huge amount of potential. You can obviously record in your own movements with your set and also set up your control surface to control a whole suite of different plugins um, and use it to manipulate video. In terms of other effects, there's a whole variety here. We'll look at some of these in the following videos. Let's just drop in uh, Zampler. So I'm just going to insert it there. Now this is quite a cool trippy effect, uh, really good for psychedelic. We've got a gain which kind of oversaturates it. Okay, and then we've got these kind of blocky pixel-like effects. Okay, incidentally, if you put in effect and just uh, freestyle it, if you hover your mouse over the name, it will come up with a little description of what the uh, device does. Okay, can be quite handy. So uh, if I waggle my fingers in front of the webcam again, again, we get all those kind of changing patterns and changing colors. Uh, obviously we can play around a bit more. We've got our wrap, clip and fold. Uh, clip is not particularly exciting in this case. Uh, fold is going to give us uh, again some kind of psychedelic vibe. Let's just take off, uh, rotate there. Okay, so you can see there's huge potential here for video processing. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series in which we look at triggering movie clips, setting up clip envelopes and look at different ways to mix video sources including green screen and save our video to disc. For more exclusive tutorials head over to the free sample course section on pointblankonline.net and check out our Ableton courses. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.